Hello there everyone, I'm Ham Mogalava, and thank you for joining me here in Hearts of Iron 4 using a mod called Disaster Death of Peace, and what you're playing is the uh, NIGPU, or NGPU, led by a certain Max Holtz, which policies of uh, the Red Baron. I get some stability, isn't that great? But food for families? Yes. Apparently we have food shortages, which our national spirits say we have an ideological crisis, we have paramilitary problems, as well as an economic stagnation, which... Doesn't look pretty good. We got quite a bit, 63% of authoritarian socialists here. We have 14% transformist socialists, as well as 23% unit socialists led by a certain fun man. But the food shortages, the complaints about food shortages in suburban areas have increased lately. And the locals want resources devoted to them from the factories in order to feed their families. The suburbs generally contain skilled laborers, or as a capitalist call it, the middle class. Many politicians in the NGPU have supported the locals' demands, but one conglomerate of political entities oppose. The DAP and its civilian and military counterparts of SF and DNL has been publishing propaganda posters about the supposed greater goal that the skilled laborers must go through in order to be stronger people for their nation, and that the government should focus on instead industrializing so that we can feed future generations too. This time, this take has been very popular between working class because it does not prioritize a single group that the workers have no connection in their labor. The youth has also grown interested in these propaganda posters of the radicals and our agents say that the DAF is pending at all the groups under an opposition clique. What do we do? Pass a program and divert resources from factories. We do not bend to F word scum. Compromise the act between the NGPU and the DAP DNL SF. Increase the power of the radicals. Well, let's see. Um, DAL, huh? We got a lot of different people here. Antebellum. No, and huh. I thought I said antebellum, but it says antediluvian and anarchists. Well, Legacy of Marx. Uh, I'm not really sure. Secure the Red Baron seat. Question of paramilitaries. Operation Rota. Uh, we do not bend to the scum. Well, let's see. Let's see. Libs? Hmm. Uh, propaganda posters. Greater Gold. Let's go with the Greater Gold. Let's see, let's see with that one. Because as much as we love Max Hose. Or Hills. It is what it is. We'll do Legacy of Marx next. Let's see what happens about that. And promote... Class warfare. Huh, okay. Very cool. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. It has come to our attention that the far left cells of a party have called for a class warfare, whereas they raid capitalist homes and property. The National Socialists have uh, claimed that this is terrorism, and classes must work together to achieve a revolution. What stance should we take on the matter? Banish the capitalist of Germany. Revolution forever. Classes must be expanded and real work must real must real work together in order to achieve a real revolution. Let's see what happens with radicals. I like radicals here, right? We like the radicals. And then we'll do a question of paramilitaries, because we need to finish this one first. Oh, ah. So we need a couple radicals to go down a certain way, right? Cool. Always false. Cool. The legacy of Marx. In all Germany, Marx is revered as a progressive hero for the worker. However, occurring developments have changed this belief for some. In particular, the radical groups of the SF have been spreading propaganda about Marx. Our Grand Master calling him an ultra-nationalist communist, or more... or or more refer among the youth as National Bolshevik as a clear insult to our ideology. The SF, DNL, NAP trios insulted Liebknecht and Luxembourg, calling them coward revisionists. They believe that socialism must have a strong basis on class, nation, race, and land, which is clearly disguised fascism. Should we act on the matter by reforming the curriculum to counteract this fascist propaganda or do nothing? Marx is a crucial icon for revolution. We will not forgive such insult to your grandfather. The curriculum stays. Or, is it really worth fighting a civil war against some teenagers for a grumpy German Jew? Ah, and Operation Rot. I wonder what's going to happen here, especially with this guy with, with knives sticking out. Nothing bad will ever happen with Operation Rot or Operation Red. No, no, of course not. The Bureau bombing. The council has taken a huge blow by the latest happenings in Westphalia. A group of Schwarz of Rot. Front, front militants have occupied certain state properties such as bureaus of defense and welfare and were only repelled after the NGPU militia intervened. The commander believed the attack was questioned and it was discovered that the SF wanted to push recognition of themselves and their allies as legitimate organizations, the SF. It was known for the ties of Deutsche National League and Deutsche Arbeiterpartei, which are effective entities in the politics of the NGPU. And the DAP is an official faction led by the notorious and charismatic Daddy Joseph Goebbels and the DNL is led by a new figure, a certain Adolf... Duderino Hitler. The Strasserists of the SF and these politically and military active groups working together is very risky to our legitimacy because of their radical reactionary ideals and their popularity amongst our only pillars that carry the roof, the working man. Keep them under watch. Give the DAF, SL, and the DNL those three groups recognition. We cannot rival these beasts. 
Paramilitary's on our side. We got more stability. Look at that. 93%. Oh, I can't wait. Ah, Operation Rota. The people of Hanover woke up with soldiers marching in bands playing traditional German pieces. Today was expected to be a great day for the working man, because the first official uh, big old group rally was going to be held. The streets were filled with young men, with soldiers, and common folk with their hopes and their hearts. However, not everyone was so happy in accepting of this rally with a bunch of NGPU militants and gangsters protesting the rally around the hall. Hertz was also not very pleasant or pleased about this occurrence. Earlier that day, he was notified of this rally in order for the NGPU security due to be deployed in order to defuse any crisis or to start one if needed. While Max was watching the rally from his premier room, the leaders of the organizations went on the stage and a giant applause erupted from the ambitious and curious crowd. Welcome, my people, the people of the ancient and divine lands of Germania, cheered Goebbels, and the crowd clapped. Today, here, we stand with my fellow comrades Adolf Hitler and Otto Strasse, but my fellow, do not forget that we can stand on the stage only because you have trusted in us and our ideals of national revolution. We have gathered the trust of the farmer, the skilled labor, the worker, artist, soldier, and youth, which are the hopes of Germany. We are here to advise Holt's bandit Junta on some matters because we can clearly see him. That's him, and his optimist revolutionaries can't run anything. The outages in Westphalia, the ignorance of the dying people of Germany, these cannot be ignored, Herr Le Hertz. With every roaring, with every roaring of Goebbels, Hertz and the Revolutionary Guard became more angry and serious about dismantling these bandits. Hertz called one of his officers and told him to quickly write an executive order to dismantle the rally destroy its leaders. The officer returned to Hertz in five minutes and shakingly said, "Here's order rot, mein Premier." Holtz inspected the order and approved it. The officer then connected to the radios of the revolutionary guards in the rally and said, Initiate Odo Rot, destroy whatever is there. These radio noises were heard by the paramilitaries that were arguing and fighting with the guards, causing them to draw their weapons to shoot. Shortly after, the city center was turned into a bloody mess, and the fight of the two tyrants uh, occurred. Goebbels was quickly escorted by the partisans and ordered Hitler and also to lead their men into victory. After the bloodshed ended, the bandit revolutionaries are no more. Arbeiter Bauen Festa die Waffen. Ah, he's a dictator. Political power. That's weird. It was just, a, just, just, just come up with an executive order. Oh, and the people down there, you know, our soldiers, security detail, will totally know what, what, what we're doing here. Ah, look at that smile. Is that the smile of the portrait taken from Red Flood? He's so happy. You can't, you can't go against anybody who's happy, right? Rise of the radicals. Following Holtz and his band's betrayal of the German people, Goebbels and his radicals have seized power to bloody coup against the red gangsters. Now we must secure his position in Germany so that he may once again become a great power on the world stage. Ah. Infiltrate the unions, centralize the state. Let's infiltrate the unions first. Despite being on the symbols of after the workers' revolution, after the Great War, the trade unions are filled with groups who strongly oppose the regime, namely anarchists, democratic socialists, and Bolsheviks. But after a series of operations against these groups in the trade unions, we'll share dominance in the trade unions and centralize the state. To secure for the future of Germany, we need a strong state. And through libertarian and federalist ways, we can never achieve that. Because of that, we will centralize the state and power around one man, Volksführer Dr. Joseph Goebbels. And with that, he will lead Germany into greatness. Didn't he historically get a doctor in, like, psychology or something? I forget. Maybe not. Maybe something else. I, I don't remember what he got his doctorate in, so. But you, too, can become the leader of Germany if you have a doctorate. Maybe. We'll see about that. Hey, at least we have four research slots. Um, from the NAD, the recruitable population, hunt down bandits. Uh, let's get some more daily army speaking. Wow, plus point, point one five. Actually, before we do that, let's come over here. Additional concerns, nothing here too much, no. Can we change this yet? No, we need more war. More than 50%. Hmm. Hmm. How much do we get every day now? 1.4 now, that's not too bad. Uh, I'll just do industry stuff, that's fine. On down the bandits. The bandits of Hertz were nothing more than a bloodthirsty criminal organization. One of the key reasons to our rise to the power was support of the people against these slugs. We gave people our word that we would eliminate these bandits, and we are men of our word. Power to the workers? Oh, Scourge of the Nation. What is that one? How bad is that for us? Um, that's not great. It's not really that bad, though, so... Uh, I do. I would like to mobilize a little bit faster, but let's do Power to the Workers. The working men are the heart of every nation, and a nation which ignores and goes against its workers is doomed to fail and fall. And seeing as we clearly don't want our nation to fall into chaos and degeneracy, we should protect our Germanic workers. Only makes sense. We have fighters, we have castle already, which is nice. Uh, let's get some better arty. I think I've always gone superior firepower. I think I'm going to go some other way this time. So, power of the workers. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't be. From the NAB. In order to protect our worker state, we require a strong army that can defend it. For those that conspire against us are plotting, namely the Judeo capitals in Prussia and the traitors and revisionists in Bavaria. And if we want our people's state to continue on for the German race, we must create a strong, centralized army to defend against these threats. Oh, we have 
Oh, we're not getting any army XP. Okay. National Daddyism. Look at that. 35 day focus. The North German People's Union. Oh, that's what the NGPU stands for. North the North German People's Union. Worker State of Germany. Remove scourge of the nation. Economic stagnation. We get more stability. And complete the focus. Blick Gen Austin. Is it fight against the East or something? March to the East? Uh, you know what? I always use Super Firepower because it's so good. We don't have any tanks or anything. I'm going to go with Grand Battle Plan maybe this time. We'll see what about that one. Because it's not that bad of a, a land auction, but it's obviously not the best. Uh, and then we got this one too. We get more War Sport. Oh, nice. So then we can get some... Uh, the other one. War Economy. God dang it. I can't even remember. Dab Activity. Ooh, that's not bad. Division Defense of Core Territory. That's not bad either. Alright, so 51%. Nice. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. And we're still trying to build up some civvies, but we'll see what happens. Um, do we actually train all our guys? We did. Look at that. And we have Mott and Bowman here leading as the Field Marshal. Not bad. Not bad. Vena, Bea. No, y'all have nothing. That sucks. Ah! Miss the sunglasses. Shlesvigu. Actually, can we get Shlesvigu with us? That'd be... Um... Are some of these states not here? Yeah? What is this? The American Communes. Arnold Peterson. Transformers Socialist. Alright. Oh, yeah, the Confederate States. Look at that. Bilbo, huh? Dan Moody. Long, of course. CTA. Kansas. Just Why is Kansas independent? Alf Landon. Oh, Alf. Oh, Alfie. Oh, Alaska's gone. Oh, I hate this. This mod's... 0 to 10. Alaska's taken out by the Canadians. Ah, oh, God, no. Nationalist Economics. Propaganda Ministry. Once I come. I want to do the coup, but I want to wait first. Let's do Nationalist Economics. So we can get some more civvies and millies, because we could really use that. Because right now, we're doing okay. We need way more guns. We need more support. Of them. We need some more artillery. We just need a lot of things. I'll be honest. We need a lot of things. We don't have a lot of resources either, so... Yeah. That's not good. Not good. Actually, how many guys are we training? We're training... Well, we're training 12 divisions. That kind of explains it. These guys are okay. They're not bad. Uh, I would like to get some oh, the mountain revolution cool this first industry yes mm, we're gonna go with that one not bad tanks maybe we'll see nice some radar as well because we can and then what's oh, a comp what is the schleswig coup i want to see can we actually get schleswig with us maybe well, we might as well try it right we get more stability more support recovery rate which is not bad zion's gone Turkish so skirmish all right samirna oh into our artillery is very good um, ah, go, go and get some of this one, too. It's fine. A little bit ahead of time is not too bad. 42 days. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a coup. It's only 21 days, so we'll see what happens. 30 factories are not bad. Not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. How many more factories do we have for now? Okay, so we went up here a little bit more. We can probably go and trade away for one of these. I don't want to trade with the French, but it'll be what it'll be. Get some more support equipment. Get some more artillery. Motorized, anti-air, all that good stuff. And this coffee hive is pretty good too. Sorry for my slurpery slurpery slurp. But Unsekampf. Uh, ah, uh, yes, yeah, Unsekampf. Uh, Unsekampf, or our struggle, was a book written by a comrade Adolf Hitler that explains and defines many of the doctrines of a national socialism, as well as being very helpful on the propaganda side of things. Therefore, we should mass produce this book and distribute it to the citizens of Germany in order for the people to understand our ideology and believe in our sacred cause. A Schleswig breach. Long live the fear, long live the worker. The people of Schleswig Holstein shot on the streets of Kiel after the successful coup d'etat by several NGU radicals. The coup was with high certainty, funded and supported by the NGU, mainly by, as mentioned before, the radical faction, led by Joseph Goebbels. Soon after the coup, the country was annexed into the northwestern communist state. Goebbels and his faction have been gaining much support lately, both within the government and the by, by the public. The revolution marches on, no one can stop it, and another Judea Bolshevik plan destroyed. Ah! We got their, fa we got their people too. Why is this separated here? Is this gonna... If I click on this, is it just gonna, like, glitch out? It might. Um, cavalry? Let's see, you guys come over here. Oh, you're all just... Oh, my... Oh, you're 8 combat with... Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Oh, we can just oh, integrate them. Yeah, let's go and do that for both these guys. Yeah, immediate integration. Um, we'll probably end up going to war with Prussia anyways. We'll see what happens. Probably not very good against these guys, but whatever. Um, get some plain stuff. I always like getting plain stuff. Nice. I love the Uni Socialists. Occupied territories. Um, civilian oversights. Oh. To Cairo. Nice.
propaganda ministry. Alright, so I'm not sure the devs are watching, but that lasted way too long. Yeah, I, I don't like... A, I mean, if it's like 30 seconds, maybe. Maybe it was 30 seconds, but it just felt a little, a little too long for that. But Well, it's safe to say the majority of the people supported people's government. So there are some influenced by the Jews or the revisionists that try to sway the people to their side in order to overthrow a righteous government. In order to stop this, we must create a system of state-controlled information in order to show the people the true nature of these snakes and restore the faith in our people's government. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one first. And great. Get more max planning. is always nice. Purge Degenerates. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look very good. Holy crap. Blut and Bolden. Let's get that one first. So we get civilian factory construction speed goes way up. Wow. Consumer goods, the population, and then uh, we'll purge the Degenerates. The old government stands for the German people. There have been many different groups that have popped up recently that despise this. Despite this. Namely, the so-called socialists that want nothing but to return to the old decadent ways of Germany, where the Jewish ruling class would oppress the workers and the people, seeing them as nothing but a means to extract money from them. These snakes are a threat to our young worker state. In order to protect the people and the workers, we must destroy these degenerates. Very cool. Nice. Um, uh, German worker state, yeah, we need to take out Prussia next. Uh, hopefully they just attack us like crazy, but we'll see what happens. Uh, infantry just, it makes more sense to do that one. But happy 1937, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Oh. Nice, better at lightings. Blut and Bolden. Oh, the West has failed. Anti-Semitist policy. All right. Well, purge the degenerates first. We want to get hit by that stuff first for now. It's not going to be great, but whatever. The beauty of militarism. Oh, yes. Oh, we get even more attack. That's where we get more attack and more uh, organization. It takes a long time to get that one done. So we want to wait to get that one done before we actually go to war with uh, Prussia, probably. Because we need to get more daily arm XP. It's so bad right now. Alright, those guys are killing each other off, which is nice. Next technology will be done in a while. Purge of Degenerates. Beauty of Militarism. Because right now we lose 0.1 in political power every single day, which is just god-awful. But hey, overall, like... Okay, now we lost 10,000... We have minus 10,000 guns. We got a lot of infantry divisions. Not bad. We only have so much space. So let's cut down on these by quite a bit more. Um, I would eventually like to get more army XP so we can make them 40 combo with. So we can just smash into anybody that we really need to. And we've no one there for theorists, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Naval ship designer doesn't really matter. And we can only get 1.71 every single day, which is not bad. Pan Germanism. Oh, that's not bad to do. After takeover of North Germany, the Germans outside our jurisdiction long for a rule. And we must make it clear to the international community our goal is to unite these people under a single banner under our Germanic people state. So, for this one, we don't have any sort of orders for, before that. Okay, that's good. I'm just looking for anything like prerequisites. I should say prerequisites. So. Uh, that helpful for more steel, probably, so that's not too bad to do. Um, I might just be put the infantry here, actually. I'll let cavalry go somewhere else for now. Just gonna hang out with these guys, maybe. Construction 2, yeah. Um, get some more extraction 2, because you can. Nice. Pan Germanism, the West has failed. Chancellor Hitler. Strasse, oh boy. Expand dab stuff. Mecklenburg crisis. Uh, we'll probably do this one next. Well, us political power, less stability, division, defensive core territory goes down a little bit, so. We do have five arm XP though, which is very nice. How many guns do we not have? Only minus 1500, that's not bad. I don't mind having less cavalry divisions, yeah, that just means it gets stronger, so. We'll see. They're almost done trading too, so it's not too bad. The Mecklenburg crisis. The West has failed. All right. Do we just have to manually justify, maybe? Oh, we cannot. Schleicher, huh? Power radicalization, sham democracy, simmering discontent. It is what it is. 
Alright. So now we've done everything here that we can. So we should get some sort of event saying that we can go to war with them later, maybe? Or not, or... Just in case, let's make a line here. Led by Paul Hauser. Um... Well, I guess we just have to wait, maybe, for it to fire? Maybe? Maybe not? Uh, it is 37.30. Just go get some more research speed for now, that's fine. Um, I don't mind using these guys, but we can duplicate these. And then there'll be actually 20s. Because here, we want to make sure for occupied territories we're using uh, cavalry divisions, and you guys are actually becoming 20s. Yep, make him at least that for now. That'd be good. And we'll throw some artillery on here too. Just give him a little bit more attack. Just a little bit more. There we go. A little bit stronger. Just a little bit. Not by much, but a little bit. We still have plenty of artillery. Guns are not too bad, so... Um, I do wonder, though, when can we do other stuff here? Because, do these guys, like, have to go to war with us or something? I don't want to, have to wait too long for it, so... Just questioning when we can go. We also we have no navy here, we got no air force, so... And we, if we had naval activity, we could, but we're just making convoys, so... Yeah! Um, how are we doing for the building? Not bad. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and we'll jump to the next point, hopefully. Or we can go to war, unless we'll have to just use manually use uh, console commands. Alright everyone, so it's August 22nd, 1939. It's been quite a while. Um, but the police brutality. Police is now beating up the workers of Mecklenburg, we must do something. Oh, and the crisis has already gone by, and Sivlanka? Uh, Operation Pias. Honestly, either one doesn't really matter right now. I don't want to do either one because we don't need to. With a quick flank south, we'll take the revisionists of Bavaria and the traitors of Austria back into a greater German claim. And Operation Pias. I will crush Poland like we did in the days of Frederick to Danzig. Now, the problem with this is actually the game was bugged. Prussia was bugged because I had to manually go over and, let's see, they were doing these three. But they couldn't react to the scandal, and so I had to come over here and force them to just react to the scandal. Go to Gordeller in charge, call the paramilitaries, fight corruption, fresh election, so the, if the dead are watching by any chance. Um, yeah, this is bugged a little bit. Like, we literally couldn't progress, that's why it's already 1939. NGPU demands. Uh, we demand that police brutality must cease. No, lol. <laughs> All right. Also, since I spent so much time just like off screen, just hanging out, um, I've made our guys forty combo width already. So, not everyone's forty combo width. These guys are still twenty combo width. These guys are actually better cavalry. They were eight combo width earlier, but now we've thrown artillery. We've got them twenty combo width. M E K dot five dot T. Oh. Okay then. Cool. And we've already got all of this stuff done already. So, thank you. Come again. Can you actually win here? You guys are... Oh, and they go to war with us too as well. Oh! Well, okay then. Um, yeah, I actually might just be able to blow through them. Possibly. Maybe. Maybe do this. Let's see if we can do this. See what happens. Can you actually just push in? I mean, so, some of these guys are 40 combos, some of these guys are not. This is going to be dangerous. This one should maybe go for us, actually. They threw in a lot of guys there, though. So we'll see. We do get more attack, but it looks like we can't really push. They have a lot of divisions as well, so... Um, everyone else south of here, hold. We don't want to cause an... Well, actually, you guys hold in the center. You guys get some more organization first. And you guys do this. If we can push in through here, through Lübeck, that wouldn't be too bad. Down here is not too bad, though. Uh, we probably lost a lot of guys. 50, wow, that's a lot. 51,000. That's, that's a ton of guys. Um, give us some time. Let's get more reorganized first. Let's see what happens. Get some radar. That'd be very nice. Go and grab some of that, too. Oh, we've been just building a lot of stuff up, so... Um, yeah, not really much has gone on. I would like to attack in a circle, but we'll see what happens. Magdeburg's probably going to be pretty tough to take out. Uh, we have a lot of army XP already, so 20s. Screw it, we're going to make these guys 40s immediately since we have so much army XP after the, that first initial burst. A failure? We're also doing kind of okay as well. Make them large and thick horses. There you go, nice. Great. We're going to need more guns and a lot more infantry equipment. We're going to wait. Um, I, I never do this one just because usually by the time we get down here, I don't have enough tanks to really make this worthwhile, so we're going to go with infiltration. That's fine with us. That is still okay with us. Uh, we need, wow, we need a lot more. Holy crap. We need more RXP. Just, just, need, just need a lot of things. Just need a lot of things in general. 
I don't like that they're not attacking us, so we actually might just keep you guys at the forefront. So, let's see. What if we did something like this? You guys do this, and then you guys do this as well. But we're going to take you guys out and maybe make them attack us. Head on back, guys. Hang out. Because if they don't attack us yet, then maybe we'll send our horses back to you. Let's see. Can we attack, uh, bait them into attacking us as well? There you go. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, you better not start losing, though. We're losing there. We're slowly losing here, too, so we'll see. 20, 16, 15. Alright, so get, get the horses back. I don't mind doing it with the horses, just because they're, like, very speedy, so. Alright, boys, get in there. Nice. Just bait them into attacking us. Get, 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 get some of that good bait. Nice. There you go. That's what we like to see. Now they're taking a lot more casualties. Just gotta know to, you know, maneuver the AI. Good, good, good. What's our manpower like? Who are they by? Uh, Karl Friedrich Gordeller. Alright. Oh, are we losing down here? That's not good. Here, retreat into there. You guys are retreating into here. That's fine. You'll be fine. Oh, we have no infantry down here. Oh, improved rubber processing is very nice. Get some more refineries. Even though we're not losing that much fuel actually at all, but whatever. They're still attacking right there, which is fine. They've lost 200 some thousand. Uh, what are we at? We're just, oh, we're already at, at extensive, huh? Head on in, boys, if you can. Excavation. Very good, very good, very good. Grab some more fuel gain, because we can for now. Actually, how much manpower do they have? I would like to see how much manpower they do have. Uh, we'll be... Oh, well, that was service by requirement. Oh, no, 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 no. You want to go through here, and they go down there. There you go. This guy is Martin Bowman. Have you learned anything? There? No, you have not learned anything either. That sucks. It's fine. Let him just... Look how fast it just goes. Look at that army XP. I wish we had planes. Be very beneficial. Ah, when you drive a motorized, just throw in some horses. And they're almost out of manpower. Can't imagine. They have a little bit of equipment left. Obviously, we don't. Oh, look at that. They're just dropping. Just kind of probably like their manpower. Yep, and they're gone. They do have a few planes. Not much, though. And they should be running out of manpower very, very soon, too. There you go. Go in there, too. Um, there you go. Just in case. Zero. Very nice. Quite a few divisions, but uh, as you can see, even up here, like they're starting to lose some serious amount of equipment. So, uh, For us, though... Oh, they actually beat us back. That's not cool. That's really bad. We're going in. Screw it. We're going in here. Look how bad those mountaineers are. Holy crap. Nice. You wanted that? Well, we'll take Magdeburg. Good. Wow, they really just want to attack. Alright, so at this point, I don't think they can really do too much else. We're going to throw everyone else on the line. We're going to do a general attack here. Because they're out of equipment. They're out of manpower. Get on the line, boys. Together, we're going to smash a few of these aristocrats. No matter what the cost is, we're going to smash five, four, three. We're going in. And you're going to force the attack if you possibly can. We're not going to mess around here. Nope. No messing around. No malarkey. <laughs> uh, happy 1940, though, everyone. Happy 1940. Either win or die. That's that's your choice. Win or die. Because they're out of manpower. Any damage we do, they cannot replace. Of course, we don't have guns either, but hey, we don't talk about that. We have radar, though. That should give us some sort of intel advantage, right? Yeah, this looks so bad. They lost half a million. Come on, guys. Come on. That's why superior firepower is just better overall to use. Oh, they actually do have some tanks. I don't care about losses, though. I really don't. Are they doing... They're doing force defense. They've got to be. They've got to be for some, some of these divisions. That's better. Uh, get some research stuff. Research. Nuclear research. How, how has this group not died yet? With no manpower, no equipment, how can they still hold out against us? Look, at, look how bad it is. My goodness. They get division ten defense on court territory. Just hold everybody. Jesus Christ, it's so bad. It's so bad. That's so stupid. Okay, so they got division defense on court territory or something like that. They have to be. 35% war support. This doesn't make any sense at all. No manpower, no equipment. Alright, well, just be able to attacking us again then, I guess. I'll take you guys out. Oh, 
Hold on for now, see what we can do. Then we're going to attack us yet? No? Alright. And we'll just do. That's why I should have went Spirit Fire Power. Hmm. Pull these guys back just a little bit. And then they're going to attack us. There you go. Yeah, that's dumb. I don't like doing it like this, but it, it works. It really does work, so. Look at that. Even with no, like, they're still putting up a really good fight with no equipment. And no manpower. And yet we can't push into them. I do not understand. Of course it does help. I mean, they probably have a few planes, maybe? Maybe not? Alright, well, whatever. 700,000 dead, not bad. Alright, alright, alright. Look how weak they're becoming. And we just can't break through their lines. Doesn't make sense to me, man. It really doesn't. We need a lot more guns, though. Uh, good with that one. That'd be very good. Uh, yeah, we can use more stuff. Try to get more millies, but, you know, we'll see. So, bam. You're really good on attack. Defense? Eh, it's kind of mixed. Just let them keep attacking us. If they keep attacking us, there's no point to just go into enemy's territory, so... Alright, so... Uh, I don't want to really hurt ourselves yet. We're still doing pretty well. Gets a little bit more time. They're still attacking us. Because I want them destroyed. Oh, because they get more armor attacking defense. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to keep attacking. No manpower. They're on all adults served by now. And I still have no equipment. So. Maybe I should do this instead. Get an agency. Go ahead and do that. Infantry offensive. Let's grab this one too. More breakthrough would be nice. Um, are they not attacking anymore? Eh, for the most part, no. Okay. Now let's go in again and see if we can try another general attack. Which probably won't go so well. Oh, god dang it. I hate that so much. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's go. Come on. You're needed at the front. Five, four, three, two, one. I wanted to get more uh, planning. I swear to God, you should be able to push through here. You really should be able to push through here. Good. Don't care about the casualties. We should be able to push with this last war here. That's good. 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 Uh, grab some of this too. Nice. A million dead, basically. How can you not win here yet? Um, head down here if you can. That'll be good. Good. Get right here so you can circle all 18 divisions. That'd be really good. I get some medium tanks because you can. Hey, nice. Kill these guys all, all off. Thank God. Oof. Let's do it for the breakthrough. Yeah, they're done. They're done. Force the attack. Force it. They're literally doing force defense. Oh, they, they literally just died there. I think one of those divisions did. Yeah. Alright, let's go with these guys. Jonas Brown, Linguist? Um, I prefer probably this one. Yeah, fighting over the river is going to be sucky. Oh my god, I don't care about supply issues. Get in there. We need you in there now. They have up to 61 divisions still. Russia, not easy to defeat. Very not easy to defeat. Good. Yeah, we're not going to stop the attacks. Do you have anything else, Martin? Yeah, become an infantry expert. It'll be good. Anyone else? No. We're going around Berlin. Come on, get in here, get in here. Yes, Berlin's been completely cut off. Very good. Very good. Finally. Guys, just go in. Take out Berlin. They're still holding up. How? With literally no manpower, literally no equipment. Oh, uh, they're unscrewing the barrel. This has been incredibly bloody. Holy crap. Thank God it's over. I apologize for that. Yeah, next time, just there's no point using the Grand Battle Plan. Just seriously, just go do uh, the other one. But let's go ahead and do Operation Piast. Piast. Oh, we got a lot of army XP. Not a lot of guns, but it did help us. It did help us a little bit. It's not bad. We won't need to go... Oh, look at this. Yeah, integrate everything. Mecklenburg. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Red son of a Germania. 
Sweet Brother Wars, just like in 1866, so a war would decide Germany's fate. A war which was fought between Germanic brothers would become reality once again after the People's Fuhrer declared war on the state of Prussia, which he referred to as nothing more than a Judeo-Bolshevik state with deceit and lies. The war quickly turned in the GP G NGPU's favor, with them quickly seizing Berlin. The People's Fuhrer celebrated the capture of the city by holding a huge victory parade over him, seeing it with two of his most important followers, Adolf Hitler and Otto Strasser. An official decree, he renamed Berlin to Germania and the great city of the Germans, and only Germans see Kyle. Nice. Free Corps? The Chancellor to vote. With the Northwest Communists beating the Judeo Bolshevik nemesis Prussia. To celebrate the victory, Goebbels allowed for the Reichstag to choose between two candidates for a Chancellor, both of whom having very different opinions on how to lead Germany into a new age. The first candidate being Otto Strasser, the younger of the Strasser brothers, calls for wealth redistribution between the working class, while also holding under the ideals of ultra nationalism and anti Semitism. The second candidate being the so called Adolf Hitler, who raised through the rised, raised through the ranks, or rose through the ranks, with his charismatic speech abilities. While all his views may not line up with Goebbels, he's very popular within several circles of the army, believing in the ideals of Lebensraum or simply living space. The meaning of which, so far, is quite obvious to the public, but with fervent nationalism in the air, the score might be set for Hitler and his clique. Germany's at crossroads, whether it be for the better or for the worse. Yeah, Hitler. Oh! It becomes popular, expanding the Reich. Herr Strasse, to save Europe. Um. I don't know. Look at who we get down here. Look at that handsome guy. Um, I'm not really sure. You know what? How about I let you guys decide? Should we go with he Chancellor Strasse? Or should we go with Chancellor Hitler? Was that a the Fear Reich thingy? Cool. Let me know in the comments below which way we should go. I apologize for taking so long with uh, taking up Prussia. Just, I don't know. Just even making 40 combo with was not enough, which is stupid. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, in which we will choose which way we shall go. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.